It is extremely important to realize that you cannot double spend your redundancy. Detecting a failure takes two components. If you want to operate after that failure, you need at least one additional component beyond that, or you risk component failures being able to make the system unsafe. One famous safety critical computing pattern is triplex modular redundancy, sometimes called TMR or two out of three. The idea is to use three identical computers shown here as channels one, two, and three, and then add a majority voter. If you ignore the voter, you're using three computers to do the job of one, and the first two are there for fault detection, and the third is there for availability. How it works with the voter is that if any one of the channels fails, the other two will outvote it and the output will still be correct. This approach can work for some systems, especially where the channels are relatively unreliable and the voter can be tens or hundreds or thousands of times more reliable than any of the individual components. So if you have complicated channels and a simple voter, this can work well for non-life critical systems. However, the voter is a single point of failure because a broken voter can do whatever it wants. Thus, for high SIL applications, such as life critical applications, you either need to have redundancy inside the voter to make sure the voter itself is reliable or use some other approach. A key observation here is that triplex modular redundancy does not have three components, but rather four components. And the majority voter is a significant reliability bottleneck for the whole system. A commonly used approach to get past the voter bottleneck is the dual two of two approach. In this system, a two of two cross-checked pair is used as the primary control for the system. If there is a fault in the system, the entire two of two block will shut down. That means you need a second block and that's also going to be a two of two block as a backup. In this case, each of the two two of two blocks does internal fault detection so each block is fail silent. You have a pair of those so that if one two of two block fails silent, the other two of two block can take over. This pattern is commonly used in rail switches, and in practice, the primary and secondary blocks are swapped periodically to make sure that both blocks are still working.